Hey everyone, so the big question around AMD stock is where is it going? Where is it going to be in the next three years? I know that NVIDIA is stealing the spotlight and they are, I mean, absolutely fantastic stock. I bought a lot of NVIDIA, so that's my biggest win ever. But I also bought some AMD stock back in February this year and that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of say, hey, where is this stock going in the next few years? So let's jump into it and kind of just dissect AMD and try to figure out what it's going to do in the next three years. Hey guys, so first of all, let's look at AMD's recent performance and their outlook. So over the past three years, AMD stock gained 44%, which is underperforming the PHLX semiconductor sector indexes 56% gain. Um, and I think it's mostly because AMD has faced a challenging environment. They face some headwinds due to weakness in the PC market, tough competition from Nvidia in the gaming and data center graphics segments, but there is some future potential. Despite all of these challenges, AMD is well positioned to outperform over the next three years and that's exactly what I want to talk about today. So let's talk about the PC market recovery because I think that that's going to be a big growth catalyst that really pushes AMD into overdrive. So first of all, they've had a decline and then a recovery in PC shipments. PC shipments dropped 14% in 2023, 16.6% in 2022. So some big drops in PC sales. But recent quarters have shown signs of recovery, 3% year-over-year growth in Q2, 1.5% growth in Q1. So what, what is going on here? Well, first of all, AI PC shipments are expected to grow from 50 million units in 2024 to 167 million units in 2027. There's a lot that's going on with AI. I know y'all are all over this, but AI is changing the game, and this trend could significantly boost AMD's client processor business. And they are taking market share. AMD's share of the desktop CPU market grew to 23% in Q2 from 19.4% a year earlier. Notebook CPU market share increased to 20.3% in Q2 from 16.5% in the prior year. And their revenue is growing. Client segment revenue increased by 49% year over year to $1.5 billion in Q2 23. The CEO, Lisa Su, highlighted AMD's potential for continued revenue share gains. Now guys, so PC market, it's, it's in recovery mode. But the other big thing is AMD has a great opportunity right now in data center, in data centers. First of all, their Epic server processors is huge. AMD server CPUs gained market share, reaching 24.1% in Q2 2023, up from 18.6% a year earlier. The total addressable market for server CPUs is estimated at $42 billion. AMD's data center revenue reached $6.5 billion in 23 with the majority from server CPUs. So they've got the Epic server processors. They've also got the MI300 data center GPUs. These were launched in December, 2023. So this MI300 series contributed over $400 million in Q4 revenue. AMD is expecting that their data center GPU revenue will exceed 4.5 billion in 2024, which is a whopping tenfold increase from the 400 million a year earlier. So where does this position them? Well, they have a great position right now in data center AI in the data center AI market. AMD is solidifying its position as the second largest player in the data center GPU market right behind NVIDIA. The data center AI accelerator market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2027, providing a significant growth opportunity for AMD. So on top of all of this, AMD is also making some strategic acquisitions. Just wanted to throw two at you. The two biggest ones recently, first of all, Silo AI. AMD acquired Silo AI for $665 million in August 24. 
and this acquisition is enabling AMD to offer end-to-end -end AI solutions, expanding beyond hardware into AI software. They also acquired ZT Systems for $4.9 billion, which is focusing on AI server solutions. AMD plans to divest ZT server manufacturing division, retaining design capabilities to offer complete AI server systems. And they've got competitive positioning. AMD aims to become a one-stop shop for AI server systems, competing with NVIDIA's complete server rack systems. The strategy is gonna position AMD for long-term growth in the AI market. Okay, Nolan, so take all of this, right? Take, take the acquisitions, take the data center market and those opportunities, take the recovery in the PC market. What does it all mean? Analysts are projecting, guys, a compound annual growth rate of 40% in earnings per share from 2023 to 2026. Over the next three years, we can expect about 40% compound annual growth rate. So with all of those growth catalysts in the PC, data center, AI markets, AMD really does present a compelling investment opportunity for those that are looking to capitalize on AI-driven growth. Now, I'm not buying more stock today. If you do wanna know what stock I buy, subscribe to the channel, guys, because every week I post a video telling you what stock I'm buying. But I'm not selling, I'm holding this stock for sure because this is looking like it's gonna be a great three years. I probably will add to my AMD position at some point. Um, so and I'll make a video on that when I do. Also guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below because I wanna know what y'all think about AMD and their future. Where do you think they'll be in three years? All right guys, that's it for me today. Y'all have a good one and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.